We'd had uh, reports of some concerns in the Preston area and with a number of uh, ponies. But when I went into the premises and saw just how they were living, I was appalled. It was just like a scrapyard. There was uh, derelict vehicles, cranes, uh, just general uh, rubbish lying about. There was planks with nails sticking out. There was metalwork that was just dumped. Uh, and it, it basically was a tip. Um, a scrapyard and these horses were running in and out amongst all this rubbish. When we, the first thing we noticed when we went in there, there was a horse that uh, one of the ponies was um, laying behind um, and it was um, really struggling to put its foot to the floor and um, there was something obviously drastically wrong with that one. Uh, well, that was subsequently shown to, to have a three to four inch nail embedded in its foot. So if that hadn't been removed when it was, I think we'd have lost that one. When we uh, first went into the site, there was horses uh, running loose the, around the thing. As the more I looked, I suddenly came across a container, which I just couldn't believe what I saw. Well, we've got a mare and foal here that's obviously been in this container for quite some time. And put, um, Probably the mare's never been out of here by looking at the conditions that are in here. You're not talking about weeks, you're talking about months and more of, uh, of debris, of, of feces dumped in here. So you've also got at the back here an old door, which is like, you know, just a recipe for injury. Um, and the conditions are just atrocious. So I think we need to get them out of here and back to World Horse Welfare, Penny Farm. Obviously I had dialogue with this man and given him the opportunity to change those conditions and as they hadn't changed it just got to the point where I thought this is, this is not on. They cannot be left in these conditions. The new Animal Welfare Act uh, allowed us to take that action because it allowed us to give him a certain amount of time to make the necessary improvements and if he didn't do that then we could take action under the Animal Welfare Act. That is the, at the point where we came in January of uh, 2009. We'd arranged um, several uh, transport vehicles to come to the site and uh, be because of the fact that none of these uh, horses had been handled we literally had to funnel uh, several in at a time to an area and then literally drive them into the containers to take them away. The farm staff are a very important part of the uh, staff required to collect these horses. Without them uh, and their expertise it would really make it more difficult for us to do so. As the day went on, we went and we finished at the first site, we had to go to the second site. On arrival at the second site, which was an open field, also in very muddy conditions, uh, it was aggravated by the fact that the owner of these horses had actually let some of them out and was trying to move them into another field. Um, so we ended up with several in one field uh, and uh, the, the rest remaining in the original field. Now this in itself causes us major problems because if they are in a wild state then they've got large areas to run around so you have to kind of use different methods, carry food for them and try and lure them into an area where you can then contain them. When we thought we got them nearer to where we wanted them then anything that just moved spooked them and then they were gone again and you'd have to start all over again. Uh, this potentially showed us that we could be there for quite a, uh, some time. Uh, as it turned out, we managed to um, work our way through them and we got them all taken away in a lot shorter space of time than I would have anticipated. And I think the action was, uh, was necessary and if we hadn't have done uh, this action when we did, I think there'd have been fatalities there. I'm particularly pleased to come today and see how well the horses are looking. I'm also come today to see how the grooms are working to build the confidence of the more difficult cases. This is Herbie. He was one of the 20 uh, ponies we rescued. Herbie was lame at the field and um, when we subsequently we found out that the reason he was lame was he had a three to four inch 
uh, nail embedded in his foot. Um, he was running a temperature and we were very concerned about whether he was uh, going to make it or not but um, uh, subsequently it's been uh, worked, worked out very well and we're very hopeful that everything will be okay. Lauren if you'd just like to go in and put the head collar on we'll get him out and have a look at him. So this, um, this was the hind leg where the nail was um, embedded in and um, it was literally unable to put the foot to the floor with, 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 with any uh, comfort at all. As you can see now it's clearly standing square on all four, there's no it's weight bearing um, and uh, that's a much improvement uh, to what we were seeing on the day. Uh, so very pleased with its progress. The mare and foal that was in the container um, I was particularly pleased today to see them out in the field obviously looking uh, very well from what the condition they were in when we saw them in the container and, uh, and in, in the field in a natural environment where they should be was particularly pleasing. The mare and foal that are behind me now were the mare and foal that were confined in the trailer in the, um, at the yard where the 20 pony case was removed from. Well as you can see now they're out living out in the field, they're um, obviously in, in an area where they're designed to live in and um, they've just gone from strength to strength. The little foal which um, is now uh, coming up 12 months old, in the when we brought it out of the container was literally his hair was matted with his, with its own faeces and the faeces of the mother and um, we're now getting the change of coat uh, of the foal and we're seeing its summer coats coming through so the conditions are completely different and quite pleasant to see the change and how lively and bright they are now. Once these horses are rehabilitated they'll be assessed and then they'll go on our loan scheme and at the end of which we hope they'll go to uh, loan homes where they'll be happy for the rest of their lives.